Hey guys, uh, Ryan Middleton here uh, from Endorphin Fitness and uh, we're doing something a little bit different today. Uh, talking about uh, recovery techniques. Uh, I have two tools here that uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys already have in your closet and your arsenal of, of things that you use to, to try to keep those sore muscles at bay as well as to kind of work through some maybe aches and pains that you might be feeling. Uh, so we have a foam roller as well as a lacrosse ball here. So I'm going to demonstrate a couple things that you guys can do with these. And uh, you know, but uh, also I, you know, I want to lead with the fact that if you are having any acute issues or anything like that, I would, I would encourage you to consult uh, you know, either orthopedic or PT to just kind of work through some of those. So, but these are some things that you can use to just simply help yourself recover and as well as actually warm up for some of your workouts. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to demonstrate some uh, motions that I like to use uh, with the foam roller. So typically I just sit down on the ground, I start with my calves and just hold myself up with my arms and just kind of go back and forth. Um, you know, one mistake a lot of people make with this is the fact that uh, they do it a couple times back and forth and they move on to the next thing. You really want to make sure that you're taking your time with these. You know, doing, you know, maybe 30 seconds on, you know, taking a couple second break and then, you know, doing three or four sets of these per each muscle group to really make sure that we're kind of getting those muscles nice and, and loose and a little bit more pliable and so forth. So I do my calves and then I typically move up to hamstrings and I roll back and forth. Same thing, supporting myself with my arms going back and forth, okay? And then obviously this is a you know, very abbreviated version. And then after that, you know, I shift to my IT bands. Fortunately, I've never had any issues with my IT bands, but I know it's a very common issue for a lot of people. So then I roll to one side, okay? And then I actually put my, take my top leg and I put it over top and I actually use this foot um, to, to make sure that I'm pushing. And that's what's actually gonna help me move back and forth. Okay, so I'm working that IT band, you know, not, I'm actually stopping above the knee, so I'm not going over the joint, as well as the hip. So I'll go all the way to the hip, but I actually, I'm not going over the joint, so I'm just staying in between those two joints, back and forth, working on the IT band, okay? And then obviously you get the picture, flip over and do the other side. Okay, and then, you know, then I'll actually roll over my front. Same thing with the quads. Just kind of roll back and forth, okay? All right, so foam rolling, actually a really good uh, thing to do and I would actually encourage you guys to do that even on your off days just to stay nice and loose. It's something that you can actually do before you uh, work out as well just to make sure that the muscles are in good shape. So lacrosse ball, same principle but you might have an area that um, maybe is a, is a you know, much smaller area that you maybe need to pinpoint a little bit. So uh, lacrosse ball, I use it a lot on my calves. I had issues with my calf last year so you know, I'll actually put it under the calf and, um, and actually roll back and forth. Okay up and down, just kind of work in the direction of the fibers. And then what I'll do is if I find kind of a hot spot or a knot or a little bit like that, then I'll actually stop there and actually go back and forth and just try to make sure that, you know, I'm kind of working that knot out a little bit. But, you know, PT actually told me, he said, you know, if you can do one or two minutes of this, uh, you know, on the calf before you run, and then obviously hit it afterwards, um, it's gonna make a big difference just by keeping things nice and loose, okay? So that's rolling, that can be used kind of daily as well as before you work out. And then obviously the next thing is, is stretching. So, you know, I tell people, if you need to stretch a little bit before you work out, that's fine, but don't do too much because that's gonna lengthen the muscle and kind of deaden it a little bit, so it kind of loses its pop. So you wanna make sure that you stretch really well afterwards, again, Make sure you do it long enough. You know, eight to 10 seconds per muscle is not enough, but you can do four sets of 30 seconds, something like that, and make sure that you really get things nice and stretched out so that you recover well and get ready for the workout the next day, okay? So thank you guys for joining. Obviously, please reach out if you have any questions, thanks.